Hi everyone, it's May 5th, 2020. Um, we're still amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, in New York City, we are still within the um, stay-at-home order. Um, just hoping everyone is doing well out there. Um, here's a little project I did for my wife a few months ago. And um, I'm making some alterations and I was thinking, well, uh, let's make a video out of this because there's not many videos out there in regards to this. So she has a Hermes Constance wallet. And um, don't mind these little tabs because um, these are the peels that protects this uh, thing and the thing is peeling off. So basically, um, um, she wanted to have more utilities than using it just as a wallet. And then I was looking online and I see that people use, uh, they put a chain to this. And the problem with the chain, just having a chain to this is, it's nice actually, you can, um, the utility of this is that you can, um, don't mind these little things, I'll tell you what this is later. But um, you can just basically, you know, put a flap around it. You put, you put your flap over the chain, which I'm going to try to do, and there you go, right? Um, and then, the, you know, the Hermes um, lock is pretty solid, but it's still open. And the only thing, the two problems I see with this is that one, if the flap opens, the wallet falls to the ground, right? And the second thing is there is no buffer between the leather and the chain. So um, my wife would like to use this as, you know, something she could carry for the day, you know, either cross body or shoulder wise. So, um, with her body length, I said, okay, I got her a 48 inch chain. This is a coach dinghy. Her chain is 48 inches. It's called a dinghy strap, so they can use it on their actual um, purses. So it's got a solid hook. You don't have to get it from, obviously you don't have to get it from coach, but you can get it from like a Home Depot or any hardware store, or even a hobby shop. They sell chains like this. And, um, so 48 inch um, would be good for her to carry across body wise. Um, so in reference, in regards to security, what I was thinking was I need something to secure this. And so with a flap open, it doesn't fall. And I need something to buffer the leather. And uh, what I did was um, I got two items. One is a straw. The straw would basically cover the chain and become the buffer between the leather and the chain. Um, and the second thing is a little key ring. Um, this little key ring I found around the house, this is about a, a centimeter, um, a centimeter in diameter, and um, it's pretty solid. You don't want the keychains that comes with the keys. A lot of them, if you tug on a keychain, you'll see it just opens up. Those are the ones that comes free. Um, you can find these little keychains, um, rings at a 99 cent store, hardware store, or um, you know maybe just any of your um, hobby shops. So what I did is, um, there's a zipper in this pouch, and the flap on the zipper has a little slit. I'm not sure if you can see it. And what I did was I fed the ring through the slit, and when I opened the zipper halfway, halfway exactly in the middle of the pouch, and that's actually not hard to find because there's a stitch right in the middle. I guess Hermes is providing um, two slots for credit cards, so there's a stitch right in the middle. So when you bring that to the middle, you're bound in the center, right? And you have your ring that's there, and basically, you take a pair of scissors and you cut the straw to the two sides, two pieces of the straw, and which is what I have here. Um, at first, this is an alteration. At first, I had a straw all the way from the center to the edge because I want to protect the leather all the way to the edge. The problem was when she carries it, she moves around. There's no give, and so the the when the the chain moves a little, the plastic or the um, the straw sticks out a little and it kind of is unsightly so what I did today was I cut it down so in the beginning this was two and a quarter inches I cut it down by about a quarter inch and now it's about a quarter inch away from the edge and I guess that's acceptable you know acceptable protection and basically I sacrificed a quarter inch of protection for the sightliness and I think it's a good gift and what I did was then I took the two pieces of equal uh, two pieces of equal length of straw. I fed it through the chain. So the chain now basically you, know, you feed it through. And these straws are not hard to find. If you need something this wide, because if your chain is not this wide, you don't need it. If the hook actually, as long as it fits through the hook, if your hook is not this wide, you don't need it. This is a straw from a bubble tea shop. You know, I'm Asian, and uh, we have bubble tea stores in New York. Um, but I have also seen these big straws in 7-Eleven, um, the big gulp, and um, the Slurpee, right? And then not a big gulp, the Slurpee. And then you also have um, these big straws at uh, McDonald's when you order a McFlurry. 
So these are a lot, and I've seen these big straws in party shops and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna try to do it with, you know, without spending any money. And you know, if you want to, you know, say buy a keychain ring for 99 cents, you know, and you can do whatever you want. Uh, one thing about the ring is you don't want the ring to be too big because I noticed that if you have a ring that's bigger, I have a bigger keychain ring, it'll make a dentation in the middle. And I think eventually, if you do wear it enough, it will protrude. So I would recommend this size. This is about a centimeter. Okay, and then once you cut it and then you feed it through, so you have two, and it's pretty simple. You bring the two straws to the two, two edges, and you take the hook, you hook it on, you latch it onto the key ring. Okay. And then you basically feed the, um, the tubes or the straw as close and as snug to the ring as possible. I'm not sure if you see it here. And then there you go. It's about five minutes, not even. And there you have a more secure and protected constant chain wallet. It doesn't have to be a constant chain wallet. Any kind of wallet that has something you can attach to in the middle will do but she just happened to have this and uh, when i looked online people just literally just flap a chain put a flap they flap around the chain and that's it so this is the same thing but now see now if this does open it doesn't fall because it's at least it's secure so when she does wear it it's more of a peace of mind and uh, that she won't it wouldn't be lost as easily and that's basically it that's the constant um chain wallet uh, it's a three minute to five minute um, DIY. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you.